I think that uh, Beijing uh, 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 will embrace a symbolic change at some point to show that it is doing something. But uh, it, to really, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to uh, help much. Xi uh, took a step down and uh, Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump t uh, took over. And uh, that coincided with China's uh, rapid economic growth, uh, lots of liquidity flooding mm -hmm. Hong Kong. So in the short term, it led to economic prosperity, but also led to this increasing inequality which eventually led to where we are today. So I think that the, uh, the, the government has to do really something radical to restructure the Hong Kong's economy. This economy cannot depend on asset market. It has, the, economic, the tax structure has to become much more progressive. It should not depend on land sales. So uh, I think, but we're now seeing that. You look at the last CE's report, uh, annual uh, uh, speech, it, 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 it talked about this 90% uh, mortgage. Why would that help Hong Kong? Look at this market. Is the market go, will go down 10%? It's easy to imagine, right? So it, it, it looks like you're setting up a trap for the people. So I, th I don't think the, the government is thinking clearly. If we could just pivot back to Hong Kong and uh, possible solutions, economic solutions uh, out of the crisis. Hong Kong dollar peg, should that be adjusted? And should the current 1% band be widened, uh, perhaps? Is that a conceivable solution well, or has it proved stable and resilient throughout this political crisis? I think Hong Kong PEC is a, 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 a big problem. It has really exaggerated the asset uh, market cycles in Hong Kong and uh, partly contributing to uh, the problems we're seeing today. But under the current circumstances, it would be wrong to, to, uh, to de-PEC because it, you would just increase political uh, instability. I think the, the, the first thing to do is to look at the, the, uh, the, the economy that it depends on asset appreciation. So first, like a land appreciation tax, property tax, uh, increasing marginal income uh, tax on, on high, uh, high, high income, all those things that you need to change the Hong Kong's uh, the revenue structure to a much more normal structure rather than uh, based on asset appreciation. So I think that's something radical needs to be done. And also, you need to uh, increase housing for supply a wealth tax, quickly. Andy? Yeah, I, I think that the, uh, the property tax... Yeah, the, uh, property tax is like uh, you, uh, you, 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 uh, anything above 3 million US dollars, let's say uh, 20, uh, 20 million Hong Kong dollars, there should be 2% uh, tax. And that is normal uh, around the world. Why, why not? And that revenue will, will replace the land sales revenue and make the government, give the government a lot more freedom in terms of what it, what it, how it can restructure the economy.